Mr. President. This weekend, cities around the globe, including Chicago, will be hosting their annual Pride Parades. It'll be a chance to join together in celebrating the LGBTQ community and to honor the history of the Pride Movement. Sadly today, even during Pride Month, extremist politicians throughout America are trying to rewrite that proud history. Since the start of 2022 school year, Republican lawmakers in more than 30 states have introduced bills banning or limiting access to books in our nation's libraries and classrooms. And many of these books focus, at least in part, on LGBTQ identity and history. This is not a coincidence, because these book bans are not only an affront to the First Amendment, they are a shameful, deliberate effort to erase the LGBTQ community from the American story. Well, try as these politicians might, the truth is you cannot erase history or progress when it comes to human rights. You cannot erase the courage and sacrifice of pride pioneers like Marsha Johnson and Harvey Milk. And you cannot erase our LGBTQ colleagues who have broken barriers and who are proving to young people like them that they are a vital part of the nation's history. I'm going to ask the remainder of my statement be placed in the record as I have to go to an appropriations committee. But I want to salute the people who participated in yesterday's hearing of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Uh, it was a hearing that uh, really I was proud of at the end. I didn't know going in how it would work. There was a 16-year-old transgender girl from Alabama with her father who, who appeared, and she did an extraordinarily good job testifying and answering questions. There was a doctor from Texas who has uh, been involved in gender-affirming care for more than 10 years. And she talked about the difficulties in dealing with children who are searching for answers in their lives, looking for a place in this world, and hoping that they can find someone who they can talk to, parents and, and medical professionals. It, it struck me that, that there are decisions being made every single day across America by parents and families, life uh, and death decisions and decisions that are critical. We say to these families, you make the best decision for your child. But when it comes to gender affirmation care, many states have stepped in and said to the doctors involved and the parents involved, stop the conversation. You're not going to discuss it with children who are troubled and need some help. That is wrong. Medicine and science should prevail, not prejudice, when it comes to transgender people. The hearing yesterday was a good one. And I think it was an indication that Pride Month is taken seriously by the United States Congress and particularly the Senate Judiciary Committee. Mr. President, I ask the remainder of my remarks be placed in the record. Without objection. Thank you. I yield the floor.